Hi, fifth grade. Today in math, you are going to get some more practice with plotting points onto our coordinate plane. So you are going to get a big coordinate plane today. It goes to 34 on the x-axis and 40 on the y-axis. So this is much bigger than what we've been doing, but it's exactly the same thing. And then you're also going to get a set of ordered pairs. This is like your directions for graphing onto your coordinate plane. Now, as you graph on your coordinate plane, it is going to reveal a picture. So this is a mystery picture. You'll be able to find out what the picture is once you have plotted all of the points and played a little bit of connect the dots along the way. Now, I have my video zoomed way out so that you can see my whole coordinate plane here because I'm gonna go through a couple with you to make sure that you understand what you're doing before you start. So pay close attention here so that you know what to do. I am going to start on my directions sheet at the very, very top. And you'll see it says start, and then it gives me my first ordered pair. Remember, these ordered pairs always go X, Y. Every time they go X, Y. So when I see 12, 35, I'm gonna go over to my page and I know I need to go along the X first. So across to 12 and then up to 35. And I have to be super careful because if I graph this on the wrong spot, it is going to make my picture messed up. There's 1235. Now, I am using a pink marker so that it's easier for you to see on the video where I plotted my points. You will have this paper right in front of you. So you should be using a pencil just like you always do. All right, I just graphed 1235, so I'm going to cross that one off. If I don't, I'm going to lose my place, so make sure that you cross it off. Then I'm going to do the next one, 1335. So I remember my X comes first, so I'm going to go across to 13 and up to 35. So that would be right there. Now, I'm making my dots a little bit bigger than you need to. I just want you to easily be able to see on the video because I had to zoom this out quite a bit. Now, as soon as I make that next dot, I'm gonna go ahead and play connect the dots. And then I'm gonna go and I'm gonna cross that one off of my list. Then I'm gonna go to the next one, 1336. I'm gonna go across to 13, up to 36. Double check before you make your point to make sure you have it in the right place. Play connect the dots there with that last point that I just made. So, so far it looks like that. And then I'm gonna cross that one off. Next is 1236. So I'm gonna go back to my coordinate plane, go across to 12 because that's my X, up to 36, make my dot, and connect it with the last one that I had made, which is that one. So, so far it looks like that. Go back to my list, cross it off. Now when I get to the next one, it is 1235. If I look back up, that was the very first one I did. So when I go to 1235 here, there's already a dot. I don't need to make another dot. That just means it wants me to finish that connection. Okay, so it wanted me to connect it back to that very first dot that I made. That's why they listed it again. So I'm gonna cross that one off. All right, I've completed my first little section. Now, when I go to my new section, it's like I'm starting a new game of connect the dots. So that one is done. It's all by itself. That little square is what it wanted me to make. That one's complete. Now I'm gonna go to my new section. So my first one says nine, four. So on the X, I'm gonna go across to nine and then up to four, making sure I double check before I make my dot. Then I'm going to cross that one off. My next one is 15, four. So first on the X, go across to 15 and then up to four, double checking before I make my dot. And these two go together, so I'm gonna play connect the dots here. Then I'm going to go back to my page and I'm going to cross it off. Now that says stop. So I'm done with that little section. That is all that's supposed to be there. So when I start my next section, I'm not connecting it back to here. These are two separate things. That's why it says start, stop, start, stop. So then I would start my next section. 16, 10. So I'd go over to 16, up to 10. Double checking before I put my dot down. Don't want it to be in the wrong spot. And remember, I'm not connecting that with anything because I'm starting a new piece of my picture. 
cross it off, and then I would go to the next one. 17, 10, so 17 up to 10, and connect those because I'm in the same section here. Then I would cross that off, and I would go to my next one, 18, 11. So across to 18 because that's my X, up to 11, which is right here, and then I'm gonna connect that with the last one that I did, so like that. Then I would go back to my page, and cross it off and then I would keep going okay make sure that you cross them off as you go or else you're going to get lost make sure that you pay attention to the start and stop that's its own little piece this is its own little piece this is its own little piece so you do lots of little pieces and when you get all those little pieces done the picture comes together and it will form something that's what you're trying to figure out make sure that you remember x and then y so you have to go across the bottom numbers and then up and double check and make sure that you have it in the right place or else your picture isn't going to turn out good okay so take your time remember you are using a pencil i just used a marker to help show you so that you could see better and if you get finished with all of your points then you will neatly add color to your picture using colored pencils and remember, if you don't have any, there are some over in the cabinet um, in the basket that you can use of mine if you need to. I will be requiring that you turn this in at the end of the hour. And when I come back today, I will be able to see how much work you got done. And I should be able to tell that you worked hard the whole hour. If you don't get very much done, I will know when I return that you did not work hard the whole hour. And then we will deal with that whenever I come back. If you work hard the whole hour, I will be able to tell. So at the end of the hour, you will turn this in regardless of how much you got done. So be a hard worker, pay close attention, and good luck figuring out the mystery picture. Remember, do not spoil it for other people. Everybody is working individually. Don't be the person who makes it not fun for everyone else. That includes in a different hour. So if you are in third hour, don't go tell fifth hour what you think it is. Or if you are in fifth hour, don't go tell seventh hour what you think it is. Don't tell the other students. That makes it not fun for them. So let everybody figure it out on their own. Have fun. Be careful and behave. Bye.